Okay, how's everybody doing? Leroy Diesel coming to you one more time. It's uh, actually LeroyDiesel.com if you'd like to check out my website. What I'm showing you here is a oil centrifuge bypass filtering system. This obviously is in the passenger side valve cover. The oil supply is coming in from that stainless steel braided hose. It comes in from another product that I offer which is the oil pressure sensor extension hose. What that allows you to do is remote mount your oil pressure sensor so that next time you have to do that job it's much easier because it's kind of a pain to do it especially on 94 95 models. Uh, it's way back there behind the, 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 in, the cylinder head, behind all the electronic big bundle uh, the connectors, all that stuff. So it's anyway, I won't get off on that too much. Uh, what we do on the end of that hose is obviously the op sensor goes on one end on a T, and then the other end would come into that stainless steel hose, which feeds this um, oil centrifuge. That oil centrifuge, com uh, dependent on the oil pressure can spin up to 6,000 RPM. That's quite a lot of g-force. I don't remember the technical answer to how many g-forces that is, but it's enough to take the soot out of the oil according to claims. I won't, you know, I won't say it does that, but according to claims it takes the soot. Um, and it gets down to like one-tenth of a micron, so that's a, an extremely fine particle. Inside the oil centrifuge there is a drum which will catch all the debris and hold it. Uh, so whatever that centrifuge uh, spins out will be contained inside. There's, a, there's another little spinning drum inside there. Uh, it's also, some people are concerned that the oil pressure may be affected uh, and it won't. Uh, right over here there is a spring and a uh, valving system that regulates the oil pressure to the centrifuge and it will, main, it will also maintain the proper oil pressure on the engine and on your gauge. Uh, in, in actuality this oil centrifuge has no effect on your oil pressure or your oiling system because that stays 100 percent intact. You still maintain your full flow filter just like you always do, and um, just like you always do, and uh, so none of that's affected. The oil, the bypass systems, they really cannot affect your oiling system, your lubrication system of your engine. If you have those kind of problems, it's due to something else—a bad oil pump, debris in your oil, whatever. But anyway, this will not cause the problem. So, as you can see, that's in the passenger side valve cover. So you may be wondering, well, what did he do with the CDR? A lot of people call that a tuna can. And what I have done to, to solve that is I've mounted it in the oil filler neck right here. So all you got to do is I'm going to supply in the kit a longer hose. You'll reuse the existing tube that came on the CDR. Usually it would run from the CDR back here over into the turbo. In this case you're going to reuse it. All you need is this longer hose and then this is the original elbow that goes down into the turbo which is going to be approximately here somewhere. Um, so I think that's basically about it. Um, this will come as a complete kit. Uh, if uh, you have any questions, you can always give me a call. Uh, check me out on my website. Again, that's LeroyDiesel.com. My phone number is posted there. Uh, you can also reach me by email. It's info at LeroyDiesel.com. Thank you. Have a good day.